Whenever this pandemic is over, or at least when it allows us to suspend global restraints again, our economy will be at rock bottom. We already are in a recession. How is it going to continue? But first, let me explain our economy's importance to you a bit more simple. The economy equals you. When the economy crashes, prices go up, jobs disappear, banks go bankrupt, and all that safety you always thought would ensure you a nice little life is gone. No job security, no savings, and no loans means no holidays, no luxuries, and no indulging. Well, an economist would say what usually happens after a crash is an upswing. We need to get the economy going again. So let's pump money into businesses, startups, individuals, and families to get the cycle going. And who cares whether our government encumbers us with debts from private lendings through currency reforms or government bonds? Because until the next virus comes and fucks us over, we can happily continue consuming, spending, and wasting for the little cost of slaving away all day. So we can buy ourselves a little bit closer to happiness, you know? Just a little more and we'll be there. Mind you though, there's no clear rivers in Venice, no blue skies in China and no singing Italians on balconies anymore. Well, for the latter, actually you might not be the worst, but hey, there's a million more positive things we can look at to avoid taking responsibility. The Wall Street will sound a bell for another round of capitalism and the rich snobs from all over the world can buy anything for a penny's price again. We just hit an all-time low, remember? From there it all goes up, they say, and on the backs of child labor, slave work, blood-laden conquest, exploitation and theory, we can enjoy the shiny first world products nobody needs. Hooray, the economy is saved, we say, and we didn't have to change a thing. Finally, we can keep turning our heads away again from real world catastrophes by buying more greenwashed products and believing in some fictitious ideas that others will save the world while we watch TV from the comfort of our leather couch. Or should we change it all? Revolution happens when people realize that doing nothing is more dangerous than doing something.